Members of the Senate, please be seated. Will the Senate please come to order? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senator Baker. Senator Chang. Senator Dela Cruz. Here. Senator English. Here. Senator Favela. Here. Senator Gabbard. Here. Senator Here. Harimoto. Here. Senator Ihara. Here. Senator Inoue. <coughs> Senator Kahele. Here. Senator Kanuha. Here. Senator Keith Agaran. Here. Senator Keoho Kalole. Senator Kidani, Senator Kim, Senator Moriwaki, Senator Nishihara, excused, Senator Rhodes, excused, Senator Riviere, Senator Ruderman, Senator Shimabukuro, excused, Senator Taniguchi, Senator Thielen, Senator Wakai, Senator Nishihara, Senator Rhodes, Senator Shimabukuro. Here. Mr. President. Present. All 25 members are present. Thank you. The chair has read the journal of the preceding day and approves the same. Are there any introductions this morning? If not, Madam Clerk. On page two, introduction of measures, Senate concurrent resolution numbers 51 to 85 and Senate resolution numbers 30 to 51 for, for referral to committee. So ordered. Standing Committee Report Number 3399 for 48 hour notice and Standing Committee Report Number 3400 and 3401 for one day notice. So ordered. On pages two and three, adoption of resolutions. <laughs> standing, commi standing Committee Report Numbers 3035 to 3037 on Senate resolutions for adoption. Senator Kahele. I move for the adoption of Senate Committee Reports Number 3035 to 3037. Senator. Favela. Second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. Said resolutions have been adopted. Third reading of the consent calendar on pages 3 to 78. If there are no objections from the members, we will be taking third reading on consent. Third reading of all bills on the consent calendar, beginning with Senate Bill 2262, Senate Draft 1 on page 3, through Standing Committee Report number 3396 on Senate Bill 2940, Senate Draft 2 on page 78. Is there any discussion? Senator Gabbard. Uh, Mr. President, would you please direct the clerk to insert my remarks in support of SB 2759 SD1 and SB 2717 SD1 into the journal. So ordered. Uh -huh. Further discussion? Senator Kidani. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in support of Senate Bill 3103, Senate Draft 2, and would like uh, written remarks entered into the journal. So ordered. Senator Keith Agaran. Yes, Mr. President, I also have some written remarks I'd like to insert to the record, and I will provide a list to the clerk following and during a recess. So ordered, further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Thank you. All bills on the consent calendar from Senate Bill number 2262, SD1, on page 3, through Senate Bill number 2940, SD2, on page 78, past third reading. On page 79, floor amendments. Standing Committee Report number 3127, third reading of Senate Bill 3059, relating to the University of Hawaii. Senator Keith Agaran. Mr. President, I wish to offer a floor amendment to Senate Bill 3059. Madam Clerk, please identify the floor amendment. Floor amendment number one, proposing an amendment to Senate Bill 3059, copies of which have been distributed to the members. Senator Keith Agaran. Mr. President, I move the floor amendment number one be adopted. Senator Kim. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion, Senator Keith Agaran? Yeah, I rise in support of this floor amendment. Please proceed. The fiscal implications of this change are currently unclear, and as such, the floor amendment defects the effective date to allow further discussion on the issue. Is there any further discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. Floor amendment number one has been adopted. Senator Keith Agaran. Mr. President, I move to separate Senate Bill 3059 from Standing Committee Report number 3127. 
Senator Kim. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. The clerk is directed to file standing committee report number 3127. 48 hours notice is hereby given for third reading of Senate Bill 3059, Senate Draft 1. Standing Committee Report Number 3304, third reading of Senate Bill 3080, Senate Draft 2, relating to the judiciary. Senator Keith Agaran. Mr. President, I wish to offer a floor amendment to Senate Bill 3080, Senate Draft 2. Madam Clerk, please identify the amendment. Floor Amendment Number 2, proposing an amendment to Senate Bill 3080, Senate Draft 2, copies of which have been distributed to the members. Senator Keith Agaran. Mr. President, I move that floor amendment number two is adopted. Senator De La Cruz. Second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Senator Keith Agaran. Thank you, Mr. President. The floor amendment makes the following changes that were announced on February 19th in the Committee on Ways and Means, but were not properly reflected in both the operating and CIP budget tables and line items namely on pages two to three, copying the operating budget from Senate Bill 2116, which is the Judiciary's Fiscal Year 21 Supplemental Budget, adding additional funds to Judge 601 for Civil Legal Services and amendments to the CIP budget. Is there any further discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. Floor Amendment Number 2 has been adopted. Senator Keith Agaran. Mr. President, I move to separate Senate Bill 3080, Senate Draft 2, from Standing Committee Report Number 3304. Senator Dela Cruz. Second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. The clerk is here is directed to file Standing Committee Report Number 3304. 48-hour notice is hereby given for third reading of Senate Bill 3080, SD3. Standing Committee Report Number 3383, third reading of Senate Bill 2409, Senate Draft 2, relating to down payments. Senator Chang. Mr. President, I wish to offer a floor amendment to SB 2409, SD2. Madam Clerk, please identify the floor amendment. Floor amendment number three, proposing an amendment to Senate Bill 2409, Senate Draft 2, copies of which have been distributed to the members. Senator Chang. Mr. President, I move that floor amendment number three be adopted. Senator Thielen. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Senator Chang. Mr. President, I rise in support of this floor amendment. Please proceed. This floor amendment conforms the bill text to the committee report and the amendments agreed to by the Committee on Housing by broadening the program to residents still in Hawaii in addition to those returning from elsewhere. Is there any further discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. Floor amendment number three has been adopted. Senator Chang. Mr. President, I move to separate SB 2409 SD2 from Standing Committee Report Number 3383. Senator Thielen. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. The clerk is directed to file Standing Committee Report Number 3383. 48 hours notice is hereby given for third reading of Senate Bill 2409 SD3. Beginning on page 79, ordinary calendar, third reading. If there are no objections from the members, we will be taking third reading on consent. Third reading of Senate Bill 677, Senate Draft 1, relating to animal cruelty. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela, any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 677 SD 1 passes third reading. On page 80, third reading of Senate Bill 2655, Senate Draft 1, relating to utility transmission lines. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, any other reservations? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2655. SD1 passes third reading. Third reading of Senate Bill 2793, Senate Draft 1, relating to drug offenses. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 
Reservations for Senator Thielen, Senator Kim, Senator Kid. Okay, let's go back to reservations first. Senator Thielen, no votes. Senators Morawaki, Riviere, Kim, and Kidani. 21 ayes, four noes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2793 SD1 passes third reading. Third reading of Senate Bill 2049, Senate Draft 1, relating to time sharing. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations or a no vote, Senator? No vote for Senator Favela. Any other no votes? Any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you, Senate Bill 2049 SD1 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 2979, third reading of Senate Bill 4, Senate Draft 1, proposing an amendment to the Hawaii State Constitution to amend the qualifying age of voters for any state or local election. Is there any discussion? Do we have unanimous consent? Reservations first, reservations for Senator Favela and Inouye, Senator Kidani, no votes. Senators Riviere, Harimoto, Kim. 22 ayes, three noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 4, SD1, passes third reading. Page 81, Standing Committee Report number 2981, third reading of Senate Bill 2162, Senate Draft 2, relating to sea level rise. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations? Senator Favela. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2162, SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 2991, third reading of Senate Bill 2025, Senate Draft 2, relating to medical care for minors. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations? Reservations for Senator Favela, no vote for Senator Gabbard. 24 ayes, one no. Thank you, SB. 2025, SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 2992, third reading of Senate Bill 2037, Senate Draft 2, relating to housing. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator, <coughs> Senator Favela. Reservations for Senator Ihara, Senator Riviere, no votes. Senators Thielen, Morawaki, Harimoto, and Kim. 21 ayes, four noes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2037 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 2994, third reading of Senate Bill 2119, Senate Draft 1, relating to the room confinement of children at detention and shelter facilities. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2119, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 2998, third reading of Senate Bill 2543, Senate Draft 2, relating to medical cannabis. Is there any discussion? No, Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I have some remarks in support of this measure I'd like to have inserted into the journal. So order. Thank you. For the discussion, if not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Harimoto. Any reservations? Reservations. Oh, I'm sorry. Reservations for Senator Harimoto. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2543, SD2, passes third reading. Page 82, Standing Committee Report number 3043, third reading of Senate Bill 2430, Senate Draft 1, relating to climate change mitigation and adaptation. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, any other reservations? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2430, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3048, third reading of Senate Bill 2687, Senate Draft 2, relating to taxation. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, no vote for Senator Thielen. 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2687, SD2, passes third reading. 
Standing Committee Report Number 3050, Third Reading of Senate Bill 2703, Senate Draft 1, relating to agriculture. Is there any discussion? Senator Gabbard. Mr. President, I'd like to have some remarks uh, added to the journal, please. So ordered. Further discussion? If not, do Senator Inouye. If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Inouye. Do we have reservations for Senator Kidani? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2703, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3062, third reading of Senate Bill 29889, Senate Draft 2, relating to campaign finance. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Inouye. 24 ayes and one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2989, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3063, third reading of Senate Bill 3015, Senate Draft 2, relating to procurement. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Preservations for Senator Favela. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3015, SD2, passes third reading. On page 83, Standing Committee Report Number 3067, third reading of Senate Bill 3086, Senate Draft 2, relating to interscholastic athletic associations. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Taniguchi. No vote for Senator Kaheli. Reservations for Senator Kim and Senator Favela. Oh, okay, one more time. Reservations for Senator Taniguchi and Senator Kim. No votes for Senators Favela and Kaheli. 23 ayes, two noes. Thank you. Mr. Senate President. Bill Sorry. Senator Baker. I wanted to ask for a brief recess after you announce the vote. Okay, Senate Bill 3086, SD2, passes third reading. If there are no objections from the members, we'll call for a short recess, subject to the call of the chair.
Madam Clerk. Members of the Senate, please be seated. Will the Senate please come back into order, Madam Clerk? We're on page 83, Standing Committee Report number 3069, third reading of Senate Bill 3103, Senate Draft 2, relating to a school facilities agency. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Let's start with reservations. Senators Thielen, Morawaki, Revere, Harimoto, Rhodes, Ihara, Nishihara. 25 ayes. I'm sorry, Senator I'm sorry. Taniguchi. Any no votes? One no vote for Senator Taniguchi. I'm sorry. 24 ayes and one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 3103, Senate Draft 2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3073, third reading of Senate Bill 2006, Senate Draft 2, relating to ranked school voting. I mean, sorry, ranked choice voting. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela. Any other no votes? Reservations? Reservations for Senator Inoy, Harimoto, Kim. 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2006, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3084, third reading of Senate Bill 2325, Senate Draft 2, relating to school buses. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, any other reservations? No vote? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2325, SD2, passes third reading. Third reading of Senate Bill 2241, Senate Draft 1, relating to intoxicating liquor. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela. Any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2241, SD1, passes third reading. We're on page 84, Standing Committee Report number 3105, third reading of Senate Bill 3143, Senate Draft 2, relating to procurement. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3143, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3107, third reading of Senate Bill 3074, Senate Draft 2, relating to campaign finance. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Taniguchi, Senator Kim. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3074, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3108, third reading of Senate Bill 2212, Senate Draft 2, relating to inclusion, inclusionary zoning. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? We'll start with reservations. Senator Moriwaki, Riviere, Kim, no votes. Senators Harimoto and Gabbard. 23 ayes, two noes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2212, Senate Draft 2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3119, third reading of Senate Bill 2903, Senate Draft 2, relating to flavored tobacco product, products. Is there any discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I have some remarks in strong support of this measure I'd like to have included in the journal, please. So ordered. Thank you. For the discussion, if not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Riviere. Any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you, Senate Bill 2903, Senate Draft 2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3120, third reading of Senate Bill 2884, Senate Draft 1, relating to the Public Utilities Commission special fund carryover balance. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 20, 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2884, SD1, passes third reading. Page 85, Standing Committee Report number 3133, third reading of Senate Bill 2280, Senate Draft 1, relating to pharmacy benefit managers. Is there any discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I have some remarks in strong support of this measure I'd like to have included in the journal. So ordered, further, further discussion. If not, do we have unanimous consent? 
25 ayes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2280, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3137, third reading of Senate Bill 2538, Senate Draft 1, relating to the youth vaping epidemic. Is there any discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I have some uh, remarks in strong support of this measure I'd like to have included in the journal. So ordered, further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Riviere. Any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you, Senate Bill 2538, SD 1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3138, third reading of Senate Bill 3110, Senate Draft 1, relating to property. Is there any discussion? Senator Favela? Thank you. Um, I stand in strong support of uh, Senate Bill 3110, Senate Draft 1. Um, due to the overwhelming um, cost and purchasing of homes in Hawaii with foreign investments, many of our families, and the inflative costs um, with non-residents and competing in housing market, driving the prices beyond the resources of individuals and families from home, homeowners in Hawaii. Senate Bill 31110, Senate Draft 1, will allow Hawaii residents to be able to compete in the housing supply and market by keeping prices from being afflicted and inflated and purchasing of their own homes. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3110, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3143, third reading of Senate Bill 3011, Senate Draft 1, relating to the State of Hawaii Museum of Monarchy History. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela. Any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 3011, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3144, third reading of Senate Bill 2898, Senate Draft 1, relating to public notices. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela. No vote, well, reservations for Senator Keith Agaran. 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2898, SD1, passes third reading. Page 86, Standing Committee Report number 3145, third reading of Senate Bill 2076, Senate Draft 2, relating to historic preservation reviews. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, reservations for Senator Kim. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2076, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3148, third reading of Senate Bill 2994, Senate Draft 2, relating to highway safety. Is there any discussion? Senator Inouye. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to speak in favor of this bill. Mr. Please President, proceed. I do have comments I'd like to be entered into the journal, please. So ordered. Thank Further you. discussion? not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, Senator Ruderman, Senator Kim, any no votes? Senator English, Senator Riviere. 23 ayes, two noes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2994, SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3150, third reading of Senate Bill 2652, Senate Draft 2, relating to housing. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Uh, reservations, no vote for Senator Gabbard. 24 ayes, one no. Thank you, Senate Bill 2652, Senate Draft 2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3151, third reading of Senate Bill 2111, Senate Draft 2, relating to the chairperson of the Hawaiian Homes Commission. Is there any discussion? not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2111, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3175, third reading of Senate Bill 2586, Senate Draft 1, relating to medical cannabis. Is there any discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I have some remarks in support of this measure I'd like to have inserted into the journal. So ordered. Thank you. Further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? 
Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2586, SD1, passes third reading. Page 87. Standing Committee Report Number 3176, third reading of Senate Bill 568, Senate Draft 1, relating to driver's licenses. Is there any discussion? Not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 568, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3180, third reading of Senate Bill 2043, Senate Draft 2, relating to leasehold condominiums on state land. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela. Reservations for Senator Thielen, Riviere, Harimoto. 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2043, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3184, third reading of Senate Bill 2391, Senate Draft 1, relating to the Hawaiian Homes Commission. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Kim, any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2391, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3185, third reading of Senate Bill 3055, Senate Draft 2, relating to mopeds. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Riviere, any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3055, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3188, third reading of Senate Bill 3076, Senate Draft 1, relating to the State Building Code Council. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3076, SD1, passes third reading. Page 88, Standing Committee Report Number 3190, third reading of Senate Bill 2663, Senate Draft 2, relating to the Environmental Impact Statement Law. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations? Senator Morawaki, Senator Harimoto, any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2663, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3204, third reading of Senate Bill 2539, Senate Draft 1, relating to health care. Is there any discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I have uh, some remarks in strong support of this measure I'd like to have inserted into the journal. So ordered for the discussion. If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Oh, reservation, no vote for Senator Gabbard. I'm sorry, 24 ayes and one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2539, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3207, third reading of Senate Bill 2641, Senate Draft 1, relating to workers' compensation. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2641 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3209, third reading of Senate Bill 2554, Senate Draft 2, relating to public health. And Madam Clerk, I believe I said Senate Bill 2641, that would be 2641 SD1, passes third reading. On Senate Bill 2554, Senate Draft 2, do we have any discussion? Any objection? Or, I'm sorry, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Ihara. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2554, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3212, third reading of Senate Bill 2417, Senate Draft 2, relating to sustainability. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote. Reservations for Senator Keoho Kaloli. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2417, SD2, passes third reading. Page 89, Standing Committee Report Number 3225, third reading of Senate Bill 2214, Senate Draft 2, relating to housing. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senators Morawaki, Riviere. 
Ruderman Ihara, no vote for Senator Harimoto and Senator Kim. 23 ayes, two noes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2214, Senate Draft 2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3231, third reading of Senate Bill 2139, relating to vacancies. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2139 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3233, third reading of Senate Bill 2349, Senate Draft 1, relating to criminal justice. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela. No votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2349, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report number 3237, third reading of Senate Bill 2050, Senate Draft 2, relating to industrial hemp-derived products. Is there any discussion? Senator Ruderman. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I would like to um, express my reservations on this bill, but first I'd like to declare a potential conflict of interest in that I sell a lot of CBD in my personal business, although this bill wouldn't affect me more than the several industries um, that it affects. In the abundance of caution, I'd like to disclose that potential conflict. As you're in a general class, the ruling is no conflict. Please proceed with your comments. Thank you. Um, I agree that CBD needs to be regulated. I just don't feel, well, I'm, I rise in support with reservations. Proceed. I, I don't believe that we are the right place to regulate it. I think it's obvious that the Department of Health has more important, more urgent things to do than regulate CBD. And even when the current crisis is over, this will still remain true. Um, aside from the economic benefits it's bringing to uh, many people in our state, the health benefits are huge and still developing. Even unregulated, I can think of no other product in our society that has the benefit to risk ratio that CBD has, and it's still unfolding. Um, Ultimately, the Fed, federal government will regulate CBD and supersede any efforts we take, and I don't think it's useful to spend millions of dollars and a lot of effort by the Department of Health to do something that is going to be superseded any minute now. I think that this is the mildest of the CBD regulating bills that we saw, and many in our industry support it. And I want to thank the three chairs involved for, for um, the work on this bill and letting this bill be the one to proceed. I remain skeptical that this is an appropriate Hawaii priority, and I think this is a rabbit hole we don't need to go down. So I'll be watching carefully and voting with reservations. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in strong support of this measure. Please proceed. Uh, in 2019, the U.S. Department of Agriculture opened the industrial hemp market due to the passage of the Agricultural Improvement Act of 2018. With the new industrial hemp market, approximately over 16,000 hemp growers have emerged throughout the United States. In response, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, issued non-legally binding public statements, argued that it is illegal to market uh, cannabidiol as a food additive or dietary supplement because it is an active ingredient in a pharmaceutical drug. In Hawaii, the Department of Health has adhered to the FDA's public guidance. However, cannabidiol products continue to be sold across Hawaii with no regulatory oversight. While the nation awaits the FDA to further act on this issue, Senate Bill 2050, Senate Draft 2 creates a timely regulatory framework to address some of the confusion amongst consumers and the industry. It really tags on to a regulatory framework that already exists with the Department of Health. Please help our state provide action on this issue by joining me in voting yes on Senate Bill 2050, Senate Draft 2. Mahalo. Thank you. Further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senators Thielen, Riviere, Harimoto, Ruderman, Kim. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2050 SD2 
Passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3239, Senate Third Reading of Senate Bill 2193, relating to employment discrimination. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, Senator Kim. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2193 passes third reading. We are on page 90. Standing Committee Report Number 3242, third reading of Senate Bill 2781 relating to litter, litter control. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2781 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3251, third reading of Senate Bill 2620, Senate Draft 1 relating to land use. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Revere. Reservations, Senators Ihara, Kim, and Gabbard. 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2620 SD1 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3254, third reading of Senate Bill 2515, Senate Draft 2, relating to the Penal Code. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2515 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3255, third reading of Senate Bill 3054, Senate Draft 2, relating to firearm registration. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela, Senator Riviere. Any reservations? 23 ayes, 2 noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3054, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3256, third reading of Senate Bill 2228, Senate Draft 2, relating to flavored products for electronic smoking devices. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Riviere. Any reservations? 24 ayes, 1 no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2228, SD2, passes third reading. Page 91, Standing Committee Report Number 3259, third reading of Senate Bill 2106, Senate Draft 2, relating to child passenger restraints. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have Senator Inouye? Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to speak in favor of Senate Bill 2106. Please proceed. The American Academy of Pediatrics states that, quote, infants and toddlers should ride in a rear-facing car safety seat as long as possible until they reach the highest weight or height allowed by their seat. Most convertible seats have limits that will allow children to ride rear-facing for two years or more, unquote. This bill looks to prevent and reduce injuries to our keiki, and if this bill passes, Hawaii will join 11 states that currently have requirements that children under the age of two be rear-facing. Injury is one of the leading causes of death and disability in Hawaii for all children responsible for more deaths of children ages 1 to 17 than all other causes combined. For these reasons, Mr. President, President, I urge my colleagues to support this important measure in our effort to ensure the safety of our keiki. Mahalo. Thank you. Further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, Senator Keoho Kaloli. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2106, SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3267, third reading of Senate Bill 2326, Senate Draft 1, relating to microbeads. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Kim. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2326, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3268, third reading of Senate Bill 2502, Senate Draft 1, relating to child abuse reporting. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 
25 ayes. Thank you, Senate Bill 2502, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3276, third reading of Senate Bill 2381, Senate Draft 2, relating to shoreline setbacks. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, Senator Morawaki, Senator Kim, any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2381, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3281, third reading of Senate Bill 146, Senate Draft 1, relating to the State Fire Council. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Oh, reservations for Senator Favela. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 146, SD1, passes third reading. Page 92, Standing Committee Report Number 3282, third reading of Senate Bill 2519, Senate Draft 2, relating to firearms. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Riviere, Senator Favela, no vote. Reservations? 23 ayes, two noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2519 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3283, third reading of Senate Bill 2414, Senate Draft 1, relating to the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2414 SD1 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3289, third reading of Senate Bill 1431, Senate Draft 2, relating to Renewable Energy Technologies tax credits. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Kim, Senator Riviere, Senator Thielen, Senator English. Tw Reservations for Senator Harimoto. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 1431 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3290, third reading of Senate Bill 2072, Senate Draft 2, relating to renewable energy. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2072 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3295, third reading of Senate Bill 2406, Senate Draft 2, relating to explosion detection technology. Is there any discussion? Senator Favela. Mr. President, I stand in strong support of Senate Bill 2406, Senate Draft 2. Please proceed. I have a lot of illegal gunfire and fireworks. It caused safety risks and health hazards in the state for visitors and residents. Senate Bill 2406 SD1 will help the law enforcement and emergency first responders to detect fireworks explosions within a, with a specific area and to respond to the explosion related to the crime. And this would help first responders in the area. Um, I know that you guys had read the bill, but 45 seconds seems like it's not a lot. But it is a lot when you have an officer in need or a safety respond person in need of help. 45 seconds can be a lifetime. So I urge my colleagues to please uh, support this bill. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2406, SD2 passes third reading. Page 93, Standing Committee Report Number 3313, third reading of Senate Bill 3150, Senate Draft 2, relating to taxation. Is there any discussion? Senator Rhodes. Thank you, Mr. President. I have, uh, rising in support, I have written comments I'd like to insert in the record and just brief comments. Please proceed and uh, the comments will be inserted. Thank you. An uh, overwhelming majority of economists support a carbon tax as the best way to combat global warning, warming. To quote Greg Mankiw, who chaired the Council of Economic Advisors under George W. Bush, quote, among economists, this is not controversial. The politics is, com is complicated. The international relations is complicated. But the economics is really simple, unquote. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? 
Senator Inouye. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to speak in opposition to this Please bill. Proceed. The State of Hawaii Office of Planning, Feasibility, and Implications of Establishing a Carbon Offset Program for the State of Hawaii, released in December 2019, calls for the state to conduct a study on carbon pricing before the legislature considers a carbon pricing model for Hawaii. In accordance with Act 122, Session Laws of Hawaii 2019, the Hawaii State Energy Office will conduct a study on carbon pricing, including whether and how a carbon pricing policy shall be implemented in Hawaii. Any potential carbon pricing mechanism should align with the current goals of the State of Hawaii. The state is currently on track to meet its 2020 greenhouse gas emissions reduction target and has a more ambitious zero emissions clean economy target for 2045. As noted in the committee report, Singapore jet fuel, which Hawaii petroleum marketers use as a benchmark for pricing, is currently trading at around $65 a barrel. A tax of $16.07 would be assessed in just the first year of the proposed legislation. That is a 25% increase in the cost of jet fuel. That cost is absorbed by air travelers and would price out entire segments of our largest industry, raising ticket prices and visitor expenses. The cost of fuel oil for HECO and other power plants would rise 31% in the first year. Hawaii is already struggling with some of the highest kilowatt per hour prices in the world. Raising the price of electricity would further increase the cost of living for Hawaii's working families. There are federal carbon tax proposals that are likely to be considered by Congress after the November election. A federal carbon pricing standard would ensure a level playing field for the industry and is likely to include border adjustments to deal with large pollution emitters such as China and India. Climate change is a global problem and addressing it with state-specific measures does little to fuel the coordination between nations that we need. Additional submitted testimony cited, and I quote, businesses can and will pass on and enhance costs to their consumers if they hope to continue providing their products or services. That means our already astronomical cost of living could head further up into the stratosphere, and this is from the Tax Foundation of Hawaii. Quote, Hawaii is an isolated land mass relying on the air, water, and ground transportation modes for everything. Nearly 100% of everything you see in your office and home, nearly 100% of everything you eat comes from outside our state. Increasing costs to our lifelines will, in turn, cost Hawaii residents dearly. Putting a price on carbon merely boosts our industries and residents' price to survive. And this came from the Hawaii Transportation Association. Several organizations have urged the legislature to wait on this bill until the study and report on carbon pricing by the Hawaii State Energy Office can be completed. State Deputy Attorney General Janine Udui noted, and I quote, this bill may be subject to a challenge under the Privileges and Immunities Clause and the Commerce Clause of the United States Constitution. The Privileges and Immunities Clause provides that the citizens of each state shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities of citizens in the several states. U.S. Constitution Article 5 the clause prohibits, the clause, I quote, prohibits a state from denying non-residents a general tax exemption provided to residents, unquote. 
She further states, quote, a challenge under the privileges and immunities clause, however, may be overcome where there is a substantial reason for the difference in treatment and the discrimination against non-residents bears a substantial relationship to the state's objective. For this and other reasons, I urge my colleagues to vote no on this bill. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Further discussion, Senator Ruderman? Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in support. Please proceed. Thank you. You know, the, the carbon tax is the number one strategy that's been identified by multiple agencies in our country and around the world, including the National Council of Environmental Legislators and the Citizens Climate Lobby, as well as the United Nations. Our United Nations and United, United States report from about a year and a half ago says we have 10 to 12 years to take drastic action. We have wasted our first two years here. The idea of studying it first and let's wait till the study be done is a good idea for most of the things that we consider. Of course we want knowledgeable guidance, but it's also a useful procrastination tool. And in the face of the climate crisis, procrastination is not acceptable. Our little study group may advise us how much more to raise it and how quickly we need to raise this tax to have any meaningful effect. There is no question about whether it will advise yes or no on a carbon tax. That's the number one tool that we have. This is perhaps the only potentially meaningful action we are considering on climate change this year. Um, the cost, there is costs of addressing climate change, but they are dwarfed by the cost of not addressing it. Here in Hawaii, we have a dirty little secret. We have the highest carbon footprint of any population in the world because of our dependency on air travel. No one wants to talk about that. But in the absence of national leadership, it is our responsibility to act to act in the ways that we can to address our contributions to it. Those of us that believe the worldwide scientific consensus and care about the next generation and our planet, support this bill and support increasing the carbon tax as aggressively as possible. And I want to commend the, uh, uh, the senator who brought it forward, the senator from Chinatown, uh, for his efforts on this. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Further discussion, Senator Thielen? Thank you, Mr. President. I also rise in support of the bill. Please proceed. You know, my goodness, this uh, is only halfway through session, and if we just stopped every bill halfway through session because it wasn't perfect, we wouldn't be passing very many bills today. And that's one of the reasons why there's a defective date on this bill, is it gives us an opportunity to fine tune it. When my colleague was concerned about the cost of the tax, I think what we have to realize is that there is a cost with the use of these fossil fuels that the industry has not been paying and that we've not been dealing with. We had a big article in the paper uh, over this weekend about the roads that is going out to my, my colleague's district on the North Shore of Oahu that are literally crumbling in the water and how many roads we have around the state that we are going to have to move. The three largest costs that were identified facing this state today, in addition to our unfunded liabilities, is the cost of moving our public infrastructure to deal with climate change because we're losing these areas. And these costs are gonna be borne by our citizens. So the question is, are we gonna have a tax on the fuels that are accelerating these costs so that there is a, a, an incentive for these industries to change out to cleaner fuels and that's going to help fund those infrastructure changes that we need to make. And when we talk about the increase in the cost of living, I want to thank the authors of the bill because they did put provisions in there where we do have a number of lower income residents that are living farther away from the, the work centers and having to drive so that there will be some refunds to them or rebates to them that will help offset those costs. So it's trying to find the middle ground where we can help our lower income residents to overcome that, but still be able to fund the changes that the state needs to make for our infrastructure and to get the industry to hasten its moves to cleaner fuels. So thank you. 
Thank you. Any further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Inouye. Reservations for Senators Favela, Wakai, Moriwaki, Riviere, and Harimoto. Reservations for Senator Kim. No vote for Senator Kim. 23 ayes, two noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3150, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3323, third reading of Senate Bill 2843, Senate Draft 1, relating to procurement. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, Senator Kim, any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2843, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3335, third reading of Senate Bill 2821, Senate Draft 2, relating to renewable energy tax credits. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela. No vote for Senator Gabbard. 24 ayes, 1 no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2821, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3338, third reading of Senate Bill 2635, Senate Draft 2, relating to firearms ammunition. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela, no vote for Senator Riviere. Any reservations? 23 ayes, 2 noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2635, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3339, third reading of Senate Bill 996, Senate Draft 2, relating to zero emission vehicles. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? So, Senator Inouye. Thank you, Mr. President. I speak, I rise to speak in opposition of this bill. Please proceed. While I agree with the bill's intention of reducing our usage of fossil fuels, I believe this bill will prove more harmful to our state and its industries. Rental car industry leaders such as Enterprise Holdings have encouraged the rental of electric vehicles. Customers still opt to rent cars powered by gasoline. The rental car industry is driven by market demand and companies should not have to force customers to rent cars they do, they do not want to rent. On a practical matter, Electric vehicles are undesirable for tourists who comprise 85% of the market because renters will have to worry about the smaller trunk space EVs tend to have along with securing charging stations. This leads me to my second point, infrastructure. The Department of Transportation notes concerns with the constant revenue stream required for support to support the zero emission vehicle infrastructure special fund and grant program for this bill's implementation. If this bill were to pass, the recently completed airport rental car facility in Kahului and current ongoing rental car facility construction in Honolulu would need to be redesigned and retrofitted to accommodate zero emission fleet requirements. Along with airport facilities, charging stations would have to be installed at hotels and other tourist destinations to accommodate renters. I firmly believe we should let the market determine when the rental industry is ready to incorporate zero emission vehicles until its, its fleets and thus stand in opposition of SB 996. Mahalo, Mr. President. Thank you. Further discussion? Not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Inouye. Any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 996 SD2 passes third reading. Page 94, Standing Committee Report Number 3342, third reading of Senate Bill 2408, Senate Draft 2, relating to the composition of the State Council on Mental Health. Is there any discussion? Senator Favela. Thank you, Senator President. I raise your strength support. Please proceed. With Senate Bill 2408, Senate Draft 2. State Council on Mental Health may perform the duties for our community, but we're really lacking in a sense of having support for our Native Hawaiians in the mental health industry. And 
having this bill 2408 will not only require but also help our Native Hawaiians, especially our children right now that is in the highest rate in, in Hawaii for suicides. By having this bill passed, my colleagues will be helping and having them be able to relate to one another in the mental health industry. So I ask you guys for your guys' support in this bill. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Do we have unanimous consent? 24 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2408, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3352, third reading of Senate Bill 2216, Senate Draft 2, relating to taxation. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Riviere, Senator Iara, Senator Kidani. Do we have any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2216, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3360, third reading of Senate Bill 2823, Senate Draft 1, relating to the President of the University of Hawaii System. Is there any discussion? Senator Favela. Thank you, Senate President. I stand in strong support of Please Senate proceed. Bill 2823, SD1. Proceed. Separating the position of President and the University of Hawaii and Chancellor will help to prevent any potential conflict in interest of Senate Bill 2023 SD1 will prohibit the President of the University currently serve as Chancellor at, uh, on, the, on any UH uh, system campus. The, the reason for that is that we just need some transparency. If the President and the Chancellor is gone, we're lacking two positions in the area. So I urge my, sen um, my colleagues to help me support uh, Senate Bill 2408 SD1. Thank you. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Is that 2823 oh. Senate draft. I'm sorry. 2823 SD1. I apologize. Thank you for the discussion. If not, do we have unanimous consent? Is that a no vote? No vote for Senators Morawaki, Riviere, Harimoto. Any reservations? Senator Ihara, Senator Kim. 21 ayes, 3 noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2823, SD1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3361, third reading of Senate Bill 3063, Senate Draft 1, proposing an amendment to Article 9, Section 5 of the Constitution of the State of Hawaii. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations first. No votes. Senator Thielen, Senator Riviere, Senator Kim. 21 ayes, 3 noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3063, Senate Draft 1, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3364, third reading of Senate Bill 2205, Senate Draft 2, relating to important housing lands. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela? Any no votes? 24 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2205, Senate Draft 2, passes third reading. Page 95, Standing Committee Report Number 3370, third reading of Senate Bill 3099, Senate Draft 2, relating to climate change. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela. Any no votes? 24 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3099, SD2, passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3371, third reading of Senate Bill 3067, Senate Draft 2, relating to Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole. Is there any discussion? Senator Favela. Thank you, Senate President. I rise in strong support of Senate Bill 3067, SD1. SD2. SD2, sorry. Please proceed. Prince uh, John Cohill led the efforts in the U.S. Congress to enact the Hawaiian Homes Commission in 1920. For the Department of Hawaiian Homelands in 2020, the centennial anniversary of Senate, oh, excuse me, Senate Bill 3067, SD1, will require certain public buildings of Hawaii homeland 
to display a portrait and in honor of Prince Kuhio's legacy. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 24 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3067 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3375, third reading of Senate Bill 2488, Senate Draft 2, relating to teacher compensation. Is there any discussion? Senator Kidani. Aloha kakahiaka, Mr. President. I rise in strong support of Senate Bill 2488. Please proceed. Colleagues, I know that you have received the same feedback from the teachers, parents, and community members in our communities as I have. Teachers are underpaid. If this body believes that our KK is the future for our state, then we must invest in those who prepare them for that role. The legislature does not normally get the opportunity to weigh in on this topic, but today we have an opportunity to let teachers across the state know that we have their back. I wish I had a magic wand and could guarantee the financial resources needed to properly compensate every teacher. You all know I have tried with many different bills. I wish th that the amount in this bill were higher, but I am so deeply appreciated, appreciative of Ways and Means Chair Senator De La Cruz for searching for every possible dollar that we could put into this bill. Colleagues, I strongly urge you to vote in support of Senate Bill 2488 as the first step towards properly compensating our teachers. Mahalo. Thank you. For the discussion, if not, do we have unanimous consent? 24 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2488 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3378, third reading of Senate Bill 2818, Senate Draft 2, relating to renewable energy. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? No vote for Senator Favela. Any reservations? 24 ayes, one no. Thank you. Senate Bill 2818 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3379, third reading of Senate Bill 3104, Senate Draft 2, relating to land development. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, Senator Riviere, Senator Ihara, Senator Kaheli. Any no votes? Uh, reservation for Senator Thielen as well. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3104, SD2 passes third reading. Page 96, Standing Committee Report Number 3385, third reading of Senate Bill 2054, Senate Draft 2, relating to infrastructure improvement districts. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 25 ayes. Reservations for Senator Riviere, Senator Kim, Senator Ihara. Were there any no vote? Senator Thielen, reservations? One more time, Madam Clerk. Senator Thielen, Riviere, Ihara, Kim, reservations. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2054 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3386, third reading of Senate Bill 2491, Senate Draft 2, relating to family leave. Is there any discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in strong support of Senate Bill 2491, Senate Draft 2, relating to family leave, and ask that my remarks in support of this measure be included into the journal. So ordered for the discussion. If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senator Favela, Senator Riviere, Senator Kim. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2491, SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3394, third reading of Senate Bill 2812, Senate Draft 2, relating to agricultural lands. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations, Senator Thielen, Riviere, Morawaki, Rhodes. 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2812, SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3397, third reading of Senate Bill 2946, Senate Draft 2, relating to housing. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservations for Senators Ihara, Harimoto, no votes. Reservations for Senator Revere. 
25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2946 SD2 passes third reading. Standing Committee Report Number 3398, third reading of Senate Bill 3036, Senate Draft 2, relating to renewable energy technologies tax credits. Is there any discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? Reservation, oh, Senator Inouye, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in support of this bill. Please proceed. I want to thank Senator Dela Cruz for making the necessary amendments in the Ways and Means Committee and for causing him pain. I believe these amendments have addressed my concerns and therefore I'll be voting yes today. And I all, and Mr. President, I would also like to have written comments submitted in the journal. Mahalo. So ordered for the discussion. Senator Thielen. Thank you, Mr. President. After the vote, I just wanted to request a brief recess. So ordered for the discussion. If not, uh, do we have unanimous Consent, we have reservations for Senator Favela. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 3036 SD2 passes third reading. If there are no objections, call for a short recess.
Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk. Members of the Senate, please be seated. Will the Senate please come back into order? Before moving on to referrals and re referrals, I've had a request from Senators Thielen and Morawaki for a reconsideration on two different bills to get the correct vote registered. Uh, so Senator Thielen is going to offer a motion to reconsider bill, Senate Bill 2793, Senate Draft 1, Senator Thielen. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I would ask if we take a look at page 80 on the order of the day, if we could reconsider the third vote on Standing Committee Report number 2958, Senate Bill number 2793, Senate Draft 1, relating to drug offenses. Senator Morawaki. Mr. President, I second that motion. Discussion, objections, motion carried. Madam Clerk. Third reading of Senate Bill 2793, Senate Draft 1, relating to drug offenses. Any discussion? Senator Thielen. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, I apologize for the hullabaloo. Um, I, I had meant to um, vote no on this bill because it does have an effective date, so I don't believe it may be coming back to us, and it, um, we may not have an opportunity to vote on it again. And this is a very large issue in uh, one of the communities that I represent. So thank you for indulging at me with the opportunity to uh, re-vote on this bill. Further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? We have a no vote for Senator Thielen, no vote for Senator Riviere, for Senator Inouye, Senator Morawaki, Senator Kim, Senator Kahele, Senator English, and Senator Kidani, Senator Favela. Any reservations? Do we need to go through the no votes again, Madam Clerk? 16 ayes, 9 noes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2793 SD1 passes third reading. Senator Morawaki is going to ask for a reconsideration of the family leave bill. Senate Bill 2491, Senate Draft 1, is that correct, Madam Clerk? Yes, it is, on page 96. Senator Morawaki. Mr. President, I move uh, for reconsideration of this bill. Senator Thielen. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Discussion, objections, motion carried. Madam Clerk. This is on page 96. Standing Committee Report number 3386. And it's third reading of Senate Bill 2491, Senate Draft 2, relating to family leave. 
Is there any discussion, Senator Moriwaki? Mr. President, I to apologize for a reconsideration. I'm work, um, voting with reservation because this, while I believe in family leave and we should have that right, um, the the um, the leave that we're asking for is too high. I would like to voice my reservation. So noted. Further discussion. If not, do we have unanimous consent? We have reservations for Senators Morawaki, Favela, Riviere, Kim. Any no votes? 25 ayes. Thank you. Senate Bill 2491, SD2, passes third reading. We are now on page 97, referrals and re-referrals. Referrals and re-referrals are made in accordance with the supplemental order of the day, which may be distributed to your offices later today. Madam Clerk. Mr. President, we're moving to the supplemental order of the day. House communication numbers 121 to 278 transmit House bills which pass third reading in the House for first reading and referral to committee. Senator Kahele. I move that said House bills pass first reading by title and be referred to committee. Senator Favela. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion, any objections? If not, the motion is carried. No further business, Mr. President. Are there any announcements today, Senator Baker? Whoops. Thank you, Mr. President. My announcement just went dark. Um, I just wanted to uh, share with all of our colleagues that uh, this afternoon at 1 o'clock, the Department of Health uh, and the Governor uh, will be holding a, another um, briefing on the status of the coronavirus. Uh, it's going to be on um, Facebook. It's Facebook Live, so it will feature Dr. Bruce Anderson, um, Dr. Uh, Edward Desmond, who is the state laboratory uh, uh, administrator, as well as um, Governor giving us an update on the status of uh, activities uh, here and actions that the department and others will be taking. So that's one o'clock, Facebook Live today. Thank you. Any further announcements, Senator Keoho Kaloli? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just would like to thank you and the leadership and the clerk, Carol, <clears throat> the director of IT, Chris, and the rest of the staff for uh, their hard work in putting together the live stream pilot program, which allowed today's proceedings to be broadcast live on YouTube. Uh, so thank you very much for that and uh, for everyone's hard work on that. Mahalo. I forgot to check my hair. Is it okay? For <laughs> Senator Shimabukuro. Thank you, Mr. President. just want to announce that um, this afternoon, your Hawaiian Affairs and Housing Committee is going to have a hearing um, on one resolution, and it's going to be at 1.45 p.m. in room 16. Thank you. Thank you. Further announcements? Senator Kaheli, announcement? Uh, yes, sir. Mahalo, Mr. President. You know, um, Hawaii is a multicultural um, state, as we all well know, and we have uh, a broad number of traditions and customs in Hawaii, although they are not here today. Uh, today is Hina Matsuri and Girls' Day here in uh, the state of Hawaii, and I'd like to wish my daughters and young girls all over the state of Hawaii a happy Girls' Day. Mahalo. Thank you. Mr. President. Senator English. I think you meant all girls. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, members of the Senate, I'd like to just uh, reiterate an announcement that we uh, put out yesterday that the um, 13th Festival of the Pacific Arts, which was scheduled for June of this year, um, has been postponed uh, due to the coronavirus um, concerns. And I use the word postponed because we're planning to do it sometime next year. We just have to coordinate with the 28 countries that were coming and make sure that the schedules work. But I did want to make that announcement and thank everyone for your support of the festival. Um, but I think in the best interest of protecting the people of Hawaii and protecting our visitors, it was the most prudent thing to do to postpone for one year. Thank you. Thank you. Any further announcements? If not, the chair has won. All members of the Senate are invited to uh, join us in the majority caucus room immediately after session. Senator Kaheli. 
I move that the Senate stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. on Thursday, March 5th. Senator Favela. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. If there are no objections from the members, the Senate will stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. Thursday.